We move to questions to members. Question number one in the name of Dr. Kennedy Gray. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the member in charge of members' notice of motion number one, why did he lodge the notice of motion requesting Trade Minister Honourable Tim Grocer to table any final text of the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement at least 28 days before it is approved by the Cabinet? Mr. Speaker. Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The public. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. The public of New Zealand and our Parliament deserve the opportunity to scrutinise and critique the TPPA before it is signed. Parts of the trade deal being negotiated between the European Union and the United States will be released for public scrutiny. The New Zealand public should have the same opportunity to scrutinise the TPPA to see what our negotiators are putting on the table. Supplementary question, Dr Kennedy Graham. Why does he consider it important that all members of the House and all New Zealanders have the opportunity to read the final text of the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement before it is approved by Cabinet? Mr. Speaker. Dr. Um, Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's important that New Zealanders have the chance to look at this agreement due to the fact that it could impact on the ability of future governments to protect the environment. Leaked versions have shown that, United, that New Zealand has opposed United States' efforts. Point of order, Right Honourable Winston Mr. Peters. Mr Speaker, the fact is that this question goes to the sovereignty of this parliament and I think we're entitled to hear the question being answered with some silence rather than a, than a raft of cabinet ministers all shouting out at the same time. Order. And I wonder why. Order. I, uh, the point about hearing it in reasonable silence is fair enough. But throughout question times, one of the most vocal members has been the member himself, raising the point of order. Would the, on, uh, would the Dr Russell Norman complete his answer, please? Uh, point of order. Point of order. Mr. Point Speaker, of order. If that's your view, then please raise it at the right time, not later. Order. The member will leave the chamber. The member will leave the chamber. Now, would Dr Russell Norman complete his answer? Certainly, Mr Speaker. Um, I lodge this motion because I believe it's important that New Zealanders have the chance to look at the agreement due to the fact that it could impact on the ability of future governments to protect the environment. Leaked versions of the agreement have shown that New Zealand has opposed US efforts to have countries within the TPPA follow existing global environmental treaties. Any agreement that could impact on our ability to fight climate change and protect the environment deserves proper scrutiny. Honourable Members, I have received a letter from Jacinda Ardern seeking to debate Understanding Order 386, the release of Striking a Better Balance, a State of the Nation report from the Salvation Army. For there to be an urgent debate, there must be a particular case of recent occurrence that involves the administrative or ministerial responsibility of the government, that requires the urgent attention of the House. An urgent debate is a way of holding the government to an account for an action for which it is responsible. It must be a distinct ministerial responsibility for the particular case which it is sought to debate. There is no ministerial responsibility for a report released by the Salvation Army the report undoubtedly addresses issues of importance to which the government may respond. But the urgent debate procedure is a means of debating matters that have occurred. It is not a means of debating matters that might or might not occur in the future. The application is therefore declined. I call on government order of the day. The June debate.